do you mind? I need to welcome people. Okay. Uh, Brian Callen uh, here on the Brian Callen Show because I couldn't think of a cooler name for my podcast, so I decided to call it the Brian Callen Show. Uh, our second podcast, and I'm very happy to have uh, one of my dearest friends, Chris D'Elia. Uh, no, who did that? No, that was, I, that I was think Chris. Oh, no, it wasn't me. Chris no, so you're cheering already himself. Trying to me, you're already trying to sell me out. You just cheered yourself. I, that wasn't even me. You could see on the tape. If I you rewind it. I, you have. You keep staring at yourself in the. In, uh, it was he, no. I'm not. I'm not trying to stare. The eye. Uh, the eye is drawn to symmetry. Oh my God! What, your face is more symmetrical than mine. Stop it! You're posing. This is a visual. Me- it's not a visual medium. It's 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 a. Why are we being taped? It's an auditory because you know when people stream live, they can see you. Oh my God! Every time you show his face, he keeps look what he's doing. He's posing for the fucking camera. I'm not. I demand that you stop this and look at me. This okay, is my up? podcast. I'm the king of this fucking. First of all, podcast. stop saying my podcast like you've done it more than once so I, far. This is the second episode, so yeah. this is not. You, you can't. Yeah, you but have it's no- it's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's ta- that's a sound effect for taking off, like the Concord. I understand. Look at what Chris D'Elia, t- um, uh, just to give you a sense, uh, people, of who he is. Uh, he tweets this. I'm going to be live on Upstream TV, Red Band, in 10 minutes with Brian Callen, at Brian Callen. Tune in and see what a dick he is. God damn it, Chris. No, um, I, but I only have, I only have uh, 55,000 followers, so it won't be a big the- deal. What? <laughs> That is, you you is that because of Whitney? No, but what what what? How many followers do you have? I'm not gonna have a competition. No, God no, no. I don't know. You you have more than me, right? Because you're older. I, I'm not. <laughs> don't, st- st- Brian. That's not funny. No, Th- it, it, I'm not even trying to be funny. Okay. I'm just trying to be like make it real shit. Like you you must have older. You you've been around longer than me. I haven't been on Twitter that long. I'm not. Oh. I'm not a. I'm not a oh, compu- oh. Uh, computer and technology junkie. I'm busy reading the classics. Well, you have a podcast. So what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, it's a it's a fucking. <laughs> The sound effect for my podcast should be that that doesn't even make any sense. No, because it's exploding. It's exploding. Okay. So that's hey, this is, I'm gonna t- I'm gonna change the name of the, my, my podcast to this. Is, this is the <laughs> podcast. How do you spell it? With that? Brian Callen. B B B B B B B B B B. So I don't even know. Is that B U B B U B B B B B B B B B B B B B I'm coming. Sorry. Nobody would know you. That's disgusting. No, but that's an awesome name for my podcast. Are you going to be intimidated if I take my shirt off? Oh God! Or my main shirt. Your body. You look like you play golf. What are you doing? You you don't have that good of a body. Are you? Stop flexing on my fucking podcast. What's up? Dude, stop it! This, you're trying to be sexy for girls or something. This is ridiculous. Guys, listen to this. I know, I know. What's what up? you you have to stop flexing your I'm, arms. I'm not flexing. Do you do any exercise? Well, by the way, we want to know about Chris Who Who's first of all, who's we? And second the, the of all, the people. What do you I did a I did a I did a poll. Okay. The people that watch NBC. Okay. Well, how, what, what's, how is the show doing? It's doing good. You know, we're doing good. We're pulling in numbers, and uh, that's a very vague answer. <sighs> I don't know exactly how we're doing, man. Because oh. I, I, dude, I'm not in it for okay. that. I'm in it to just. Is it be as there. big as The Sopranos? It's a. It, the show is the biggest show since um, uh, Mash. Okay, that's a. That seems that's to be. That's what they said. That, that since who the said finale that? of since the finale of Mash. That seems like a huge stretch. Right? No, because back then there weren't that many networks and there weren't that many things to do. Yeah. So mainly everybody just watched the season finale of Mash. Right. So they pulled in a hundred million viewers okay. in their last. So what they were saying is. Taking into account of the iPads and all the stuff and the video games and everything, yeah. Taking that into account scientifically and mathematically, that this show is bigger than the that's, season finale. See, of that's Mash. a that's lie. You're you're lying about that. No, I'm not. Who no, I'm said not. that? Uh, it was in a lot of different publications. You're uh, in what public? Can you give me one publication quick. Fortune. Fortune. Yeah. A time. Fortune. It was in time and, and it was time also in the source. In the what? The source is a hip hop magazine. That you're you're lying. You're, I can tell you're making that shit up. You, you're it, it's not it's not that big a show. It's a it's a it, it's it, a good show. Thank you. I like it. And uh, you play. Let's talk for a second. And by the way, I want to thank all the listeners out there. Um, I've been getting a lot of mail about how Whitney should have another boyfriend. Why isn't it you, Brian <laughs> Callen? No, but that's whoa, what they whoa, say. Whoa. What are you talking? No, no, no. About? That's just what I get inundated <laughs> well, with. Wh- why? Why do they mail you about that? Well, because you know, I don't know. They want to put pressure on me. Like I have. I, I like. I can make a difference. I mean, I maybe I could if I made a phone call, but I'm not going to do that. But oh, the, the point is that this. Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody, for saying that. But Chris Leah is Whitney's um, boyfriend, and, and he's going to stay her boyfriend. You have um, on the show, I think I'm too, not to be a dick, but I think I'm just too masculine, uh, too sort of, I have too much of a male presence to play um, 
Whitney's uh, whipping opposed. Uh, okay, whip. it's not a whipping. Po- man, okay, you're, I don't you're know. Because okay, you, you do know, and you're being mm. shitty. And Why you're am being I shitty? You're purposely being shitty. Why? What did I say? Because you're saying, I'm, first of all, you're saying I'm too masculine, which is fucking like not even really a thing. That's, that's, no, it's just that I'm very dominant. I'm an alpha male, and then you and you're in round Whitney. You're more of her. Wouldn't you say you're more of her girlfriend? No, okay, see, boyfriend? now that's really I don't rude. Know. That's really fucking rude because I, I, I you know, I, I'm, I'm not playing. You're you're, right. you're you're insinuating that I play like a bitch. No, well, you you know you have you have like kind of a wispy way. I don't have a way wispy way. No, but on the about? the character is very you know you kind of you don't really walk you wisp you know and then your hair is always in your eyes and stuff like that. No, so but I, that's because is that a character first choice? Of all, no, no. They they said when they're the, in, the, in the breakdown. Stop it said, looking at yourself. Please. In the breakdown, it said yeah. uh, character. Uh, I was. This is just early on in the thing when yeah. they didn't know it was going to be me. Yeah. It said um, heroic. Uh, hairs always in the eyes because of s- something. They didn't use heroic. I saw that breakdown. That's a fucking lie. No, they said heroic. They, uh, um, what, did, what did they say? The um, uh, white Denzel Washington type. Oh my God! They never said. Are they you suggesting that. that you're the you're no, the no, white no, no, no. Denzel I'm not Washington? That at all. I never said I was a white Denzel Washington. But people on the people on NBC and most of the networks were like. Oh, well, then that obviously should go to Chris. That's, yeah. After I auditioned. I'm not saying they knew who I was, oh God, but they were like the so, white Denzel Washington. You're, is that's not, crazy. that's not, how, how are you the white Denzel Washington? Thank you. I don't know. I didn't even, I didn't say you were. You just said thank you. I didn't even compliment you. Okay. Well, dude, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm just here doing your podcast or whatever. Well, thank you. Yeah. And it is anyway. my podcast. How many uh, millions of viewers do you have for your podcast? Though? We, we actually topped out at like 20 million. I know, <laughs> I know it's so crazy. No, Climb goes true. down when I do my podcast. <laughs> I know. I'm so flattered. No, thank you. America. I don't think that's true. No, I'm just saying thank you, America, because they're all in watching it. Okay. Um, now, now let's talk a little bit about um, you are an all all bullshit aside. I, I happen to think you're right now the most the funniest young comic. Period. That's that's a fact. Are you, but I mean, your stand up. Your, your stand up is. I know. I know. We're never serious. But with thank each other. you. But but in all bullshit aside, for me, your your comedy, you it came out of the gates just being retardedly hilarious. And <laughs> anybody who hasn't seen him, if you see the reaction you get, even when you were kind of first starting out, and the reaction is retarded because you do characters. You do so many fucking characters. You do a uh, uh, double news. Yeah. Uh, double news. Uh, uh, it'd be funny if we did the whole podcast as two <laughs> middle-aged Japanese guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, how was a Whitney for, uh, for you? Uh, we have a uh, look for the den- white Denzel Washington mm, part. But uh, you don't uh, look like uh, Denzel Washington. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you. I, I uh, but um, I don't know, man. But you, you know, have a very good ear for accents. I don't know. I always want. I always think that that shit's. I just like being silly. That's really it. Yeah, that's true. I don't even like people are like jokes and stuff. You don't write like, jokes, uh, and I'm the same way. I don't care. I've never written a joke in my life when I do stand up. I, I, for me, it was always an excuse to just be a complete jackass and and literally. Get, and what's amazing to me is like. By the way, my voice is really hoarse because I had four of the best shows of my life down in Vancouver. You have to do Canada yeah. to flip out over you. They're the greatest audiences, and Vancouver was incredible. So thanks to all the people listening, um, if you're in Vancouver, because I, I had an amazing time. But um, w- w- the, w- that's what I kind of realized. Is like, I, for me, you know, I just go up there and try to just have fun and surprise myself with something I just feel like doing. Yeah, I don't yeah, even think about yeah. funny. I yeah. don't even think about writing the joke. I right. just go, I'm going to do something retarded yeah. and see if it works, and it does. I think, that's why I, I, I think that's why I took to you and liked watching you in the beginning, because that's what, that's what I felt like I wanted to do. Oh yeah, yeah. Like twenty years ago, when I first saw you. Okay. What? I was a kid. I was. Okay. I was like five. No. See, now you're you're no, insulting no, no, me. No, no, no. And no. you're suggesting I'm that much older, which is very obnoxious. I'm I'm very. If you look at me, and a few people can watch, I'm I have tight fitting skin, and uh, and a full head of hair and a jaw that could car- carve a trophy, and so. <laughs> That gives you an idea of how young I am. No, but yeah, you don't. But I don't. I don't know. People, a lot of a lot of comics are focused on writing good jokes. Yeah, and that is totally not. I also think doing. a lot of comics take comedy really seriously. <laughs> they take it so seriously. And I don't. <laughs> Me neither, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I respect it that way. It's great. You know, a, a well-written joke is phenomenal. But it's just not. I can't pretend I do that. I can't either. <laughs> I, I wish I could. I can't. Some people can craft like Dave Attell can craft yeah. a joke like nobody's oh, yeah, fucking business, and I just go, God. Wish I'd written some, or Dove, Dove David, I was great yeah, at that, great you know. Too, yeah. But um, <clears throat> but uh, no, but I, I was watching you the other night at the Laugh Factory, and um, were you there when Justin Bieber was there? 
No, oh, I wasn't. Oh, I was there with Justin Bieber. I looked up, and Justin Bieber and Selene Gomez were up in the audience. You, while so you were on weird. stage, you yeah, noticed? Yeah, and they were just up there. That's weird. In the balcony and laughing. and, and they, He's a sweetheart. Jamie he's called t- me. Tiny guy. Yeah. Uh, he's well, kid, he's four. Know? So, yeah. But <laughs> J- Jamie called me when he was there, and he's like, Chris, uh, you have to come. He, he, he came f- to see Yeah, he, he came, came to, to see, see you. Me. That's right. Yeah. I'm glad we brought this up because Justin Bieber came to see yeah. you do stand-up. And you were, where were you? You were shooting your show? I don't even remember. I think you were shooting. You, you were on set, in okay, fact, shooting yeah. your show. And it was a Tuesday night, so you were taking oh, right, the show. Oh, right, right, right. And, and Justin Bieber came to see Chris D'Elia. And he, uh, it was so funny because he was out there. And Dom, Dom Herrera, for those of you who don't know him, <laughs> Dom, Dom is in his you – know, he's been doing stand-up for literally 40 years, yeah. and he's just a veteran. He's the comics he's comic. So he's so funny. He's the guy we all look up to, yeah, you know? Yeah, he is. And Dom was, was in the audience, and he looks up at Justin. And he goes, Justin, it must have been hard, you know, when before you made it, uh, that, that age like between 13 and 14 <laughs> years old when you were really struggling. What was that like for you? <laughs> it was so great. You know, but he's a sweet kid, man. He came backstage and hey, great job. And you know, it was the, the and he was like, "You're my hero." And no, he didn't say that. No, that's where every story stops. And be then like you make you. it up. No, he didn't say that. And then I made out with him. Oh, that, what that's happened? fucking illegal. Why? He's seventeen. Yeah, but he's a boy. Okay. It's got to be a look, cause. Look, Besides, he's look. not. He's not. You know, he's such smooth cheeked. <clears throat> got a full mouth. Don't fucking say that. What I say? Too One much. Second, I'm sorry. Oh, Hello? God, you're taking a phone is call. Is it rude? I'm sorry, I won't do can't it. can't take a phone call. And no. you, you still have a BlackBerry, which because is, you know, why don't you? I don't that fuck around is, with, I like to feel the buttons. The phone's from the 80s, man. No, it's not. Does it have a crank? <clears throat> That's fucking, first of all, not everything's, seri- I want to be serious, not everything's a joke, dude. So if you fuck with my phone, I'm going to beat the shit out of you right <laughs> shit, now. Shit, you're fucking getting aggressive. No, I'm you're, just, I'm being for real, dude. <laughs> you are so intense. No. You have such an intensity. No. Why are you but I think that's back? honestly why I got the part to Whitney because of my intensity and flair as an actor. <laughs> I just took a sip of Dr. Pepper, you fucking asshole. Because of my intensity and flair as an actor. Not even. I didn't fucking say that first. I didn't write that first. It was been out there. And so I'm just like, what? What do you mean it's been out it's there? It's really you're, stupid. You're dude. so obnoxious. You're, you're the most arrogant actor I've ever met. I'm really life. not. I'm not. And it's like a lot of people just come up to you're, me and they're like, what? You're, well, you all of a sudden, you just have an ac- You have an English accent. You're not from England. Are I'm you? From, no, I'm, from, I'm not from England now. So why, do you, why are you speaking now in an English accent now? Uh, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're going, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. It's, no, I'm I'm not. Got, I'm First not. of all, that's But you do, Welsh. you've that's got a, Welsh. That's not Welsh. It's English, and you're talking like this, and I don't understand it. Remember when you were pretending you were <laughs> Jason Statham, and your accent kept changing, you fucking moron? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was like, I'm Jason Statham, and uh, for you guys who don't know me, I'm really, really good at diving and acting, and I'm really tough. I'm not joking. <laughs> Uh, for the most part, it's not even how I, just, I started getting crazy. <laughs> I was speaking out from Manchester now. So wait, <clears> um, <throat> but uh, yeah, so you're it's, a fucking dick. That, that's why I tweeted about that because you're a dick. How that's many funny. accents do you do? Um, fourteen million. <laughs> I can do fourteen. It's really impressive. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't, but I don't know. Well, you do Japanese. Yeah, but I don't do any of them well, dude. You actually do. I don't think I do. I think you're being nice. Thank you. No, you do that. You've got. You're not I don't. As good. You're not as good at uh, an English accent as I am. Okay. You know, it's, it's a fact. Okay. <laughs> but it's okay. It's right because I, I can do. I can do all, okay, what co- else all can different you do? ones. Um, I, I've got. I've got to think. I can do. Um, I can do this one. Right, that's one. And uh, no, but this is great. I get really, oh, I love okay. doing this. Yeah, and then uh, I can do a Manchester accent. You know the one oh, yeah, that's yeah. up north, yeah, yeah, yeah. the way they talk like that up there, yeah. and, and northern, and mm-hmm. northern Manchester. I don't know. I don't really know how to do a uh, Liverpool. That's mm. more. That's more. Uh, Liverpool is more. Uh, more. Uh, more. Uh, sort of uh, the way the Beatles talk. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. sort of like a little bit more like that, you know, the throat like that. You do really good accents. Uh that's that's crazy. No, you do. Uh, <clears throat> and then I do. I do a rush. I can do a rush. Yeah. Like, if you, you, you know, I, I, uh, I must, I must work at my garage. And what I think I can do, I, you do want some vodka? You want Wait, vodka? have you ever, have you ever actually <laughs> fooled anybody uh, into being uh, from somewhere else? Well, I, I, like I don't know if I've ever told. I'll tell this. This I don't know if I ever told the story on the Joe Rogan podcast, but um, I, I, um, I used to Jimmy Burke, my buddy, and I used to pick up girls in mm. New York by being different characters. <laughs> And what we do, we had two scams. One was we tell them we were stuntmen from England. We'd be like, "Yeah, we're doing stunts out here. I do it. I do it all. I do it, ride motorcycles and I ride uh, uh, horses and I do a lot of fighting stuff." And I do. <laughs> I was amazing because we always got laid. Always, really? you know. Yeah, but my but Jimmy had the worst English accent. <laughs> 
his English accent sucked. He'd be like, well, do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, uh, well, we got a spot of tea. Oh, God. And I'd be like, dude, you're fucking overdoing it. You suck. Oh, that's hilarious. And then we'd play uh, Doctors. This is so sick. I can't believe I'm saying this on the on the podcast, but we used to get laid by, my buddy would be over there drinking like a beer, and I, I me and my friends Jimmy. would come over and go, yeah. yeah. And we'd be like, excuse me, um, we, we, sorry, sorry to bother you girls, but we're surgeons. And my buddy just lost his first patient. And oh. uh, if you guys could come over and just maybe cheer him up, you're so beautiful. And dude, it worked. It worked? Oh, they'd ask us medical advice. Like that, but I feel like that would work back when you did it in the 60s, and it wouldn't work anymore. God damn it, Chris. What? I, well, it's fucking 60s. There's another jab of my age. No, no, no. I'm not trying to jab was, your age. But how, how old were you, 20 when you did that? I was 20 in my so early 70s. 20s. <laughs> no. Well, it was in the 90s. Okay, God okay. Damn it. I'm sorry. I don't know fucking how old you are. Fucking career to worry about. I don't know how old I you play are. 32. 32 what? You played 32, you've played 32 Years weaklings. old. You oh, played, my God. You played 32 weaklings I, in different... I, I, this is the, I didn't call you on my podcast to fucking be an ageist. Stop looking at yourself. He's staring at himself in the ageist, fucking... Dude. You're clearly admiring yourself. I'm 31. And you're dude. posing on my podcast. Stop doing that. Look at me. You okay, keep hey, looking over up? yourself. Anyway, it's not a visual medium. Stop right. showing... Brian, don't show him on the... Shit. People are just downloading it and listening to it. Yeah. So now, don't, don't do but, that. But we used to do... When um, me and my buddy, we used to just play different characters that's funny I, I could never do that i i would always be like i was gonna fuck it up the whole fun the, but the, the, for me the that, whole point of picking up yeah. girls was just the fun of right, it. The, right, the, the, right. the whole chase the whole like let me see if i can get her in bed i don't have long flowing fucking hair like you i don't wear a cape okay you know, I, I'm a i don't regular, wear a cape i'm a what regular guy about? i gotta keep my hair short in case i get in a fight because i fight uh, all right you, so what you're saying i have long hair and i can't fight well you got you you're you're um you have a lot of um like I'm sure if they did a your blood work you'd have a lot of t- estrogen. No, your, that's no because that's you have so big rude. tits what? and you have uh, the, well. What are you talking about big tits? You have bulbous tits, uh, you know. You have, fu- and that's an mean? estrogen thing. That's that's, that's just because you produce I, I'm a lot fucking of fucking a man. I'm, I'm, I'm like man shit. Well, but you're so soft, like you know you're. You know, when no, I touch that's, you, that's rude. That's the Rem- sound you called me the other day. You called me a, a, a bunch of, I look like a bunch of dough uh, yeah, rolled you itself like, through hair. No, yeah, you look, well, I saw you with your shirt off and I said, did somebody drag a piece of raw dough through a barber shop on, that's, a, on, a, on a barbershop that's floor? That's so fucking rude. Why? You, you, you don't say that. I'm good with metaphors. Say, but who fucking care? You're going to do it to a friend. You said I was like that and it fucking ruined my night. I know, but I was just using a metaphor and I'm a writer and I'm sorry You're that I'm You're not really a fucking writer. What are you talking about? I write novels. How many novels have you written? A lot. I just don't. I choose not to publish them. So where are they? They're in my library. <laughs> you have a library. I have a secret library. Where? I write in Latin. You don't write in Latin. You don't even know Latin. You don't know me. What are you talking about? I've known you for five years. Get off one my, of my podcast. Best friends. Well, <laughs> you ruined my podcast. You're not gonna. Get what are you here. talking about? You're just lying. I'm not gonna fucking stand Fuck for off. it. Jason Statham. I'm gonna call him and have him come on my podcast. You don't even right know now. him. Yes, I do. Jason, come on in. Hello. No. It's Jason Stratham. First of hey, all. Name Jason Stratham. That's not even how his That's last name exactly is. That's exactly how I attack. I'm from, I'm from England. People can see who are watching it that it's you talking. Yeah, but we look so much alike that I, I look exactly like him, so no, I always confuse do. people because no, I have such a chiseled face. But, I, but it is interesting, though, because I have had to go out in public in disguise now because of the, the fame that I've gotten. Oh, my God. That's what? so annoying. Yeah, this is so funny. When Chris when first when Whitney was first going to air, I got, a, I got a text from him and said, Hey, dude, can you uh, help me? I, I need to go um, sunglasses and uh, hat shopping. Right. And I go, why? And he go, no, because I'm about to, I'm about to become super famous. Yeah. So I just need to, I need to wear sunglasses and, and a hat, and I just don't want people to bother me. I was like, you fucking no, loser. But, and, I, and then you were sending me pictures of you in a hat <laughs> that said with, <laughs> with, with, with that said Chris on it with sunglasses. Let me tell you something, dude. I have a hat that says Chris on it. Yeah. Okay? You're clearly advertising it's you, yet you're wearing sunglasses. No, it's not. I'm not lucky. advertising it's me because think about it, okay? Does does take Jason Statham? How often do you think he gets recognized? I don't know. A lot, I guess. A lot, okay? Yeah. Does he have a hat that says Jason? I I don't. Money. What would you put your money on? Probably not. Okay, there. Thank you very much. And I never get recognized. It's because I have a hat that says. Oh Chris my! On. That's n- that's the craziest. Because why the fuck would a, logic. why would somebody who's famous like Jason Statham and or I or Tom Cruise or somebody like that? Why well, you're, would you're we, putting yourself in the. You just put yourself in the same fucking pantheon as no, Tom I'm Cruise just and Jason. It's Stray, a fucking Stratham. huge pool of whatever. But why would you? Why would somebody? Tom Cruise doesn't have a hat that says Tom Cruise on. I'm sure everyone's always like, "That's Tom Cruise." Well, so you're deflecting. So if I'm like, if I have a hat that says fucking Chris, so they're going, "Oh, that's Chris that Lee. It Chris. can't be Chris." Right, and then nobody ever bothers me. 
with the sunglasses too. And then, I'm gonna punch you in your fucking face. I'm fast. What do you mean? You can't get me. <laughs> Have you studied fighting? I studied five years uh, of uh, gut wrenching <laughs> jujitsu. Well, I know you did study jujitsu, and who did you study under? Um, Superman. <laughs> you studied under the Machados, right? I did, yeah. And I'm not good at all, though. <clears throat> yeah, you don't have the personality. I, I don't. I don't. I'm like, I did. It I can't for, see you. I have caring. an obsessive. I have an obsessive personality, though. When I go for something, I do it. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I I did it about every day. Did you? For years, yeah. And you but just I'm never just got not, good. I'm just not good, dude. <laughs> I'm just not. You know, like it's like, and I really tried. So you can't say like, oh, you half acid. I did not half acid. I tried fucking hard. And it was just not for me, man. Yeah, yeah. You don't have the It just wasn't me, dude. I don't see you fighting. You're not, you don't care. Nah, like, nah. you're the kind of guy that a guy could just punch you and you'd be like, I don't care. <laughs> the thing is, is like... What would, what would it take for somebody to fight you? What would they have to do? Hit your brother or something? Yeah. Yeah, it would have to be something like that. Yeah. Otherwise, though, if they did something to you, you don't give a fuck. I don't. I, just because, like, it's just dumb. <laughs> I don't care. You don't, you don't so, care. It, it goes back to me. This is how I am. In basketball, it's like, if you, if I'm, I played basketball in high school, and it was like, if you want the ball that bad, just take it, dude. <laughs> like, I don't You're care. You're the shittiest teammate. It, but, because it's fucking <laughs> stupid, dude. It's just like, you are grown men. Well, I mean, back then we were high school, but you got the fucking all the pro teams. It's just like you're fucking fighting over a ball. Just give it to them. <laughs> That's what I feel. And you don't, you don't watch sports. <clears throat> nah. Oh, here's the thing. I'll sit down and watch a sporting event if that's what everybody's going to do because I don't want to be the whole guy who's like, turn this shit off and the asshole. Right. But so do I run, do not watch. Do you watch. cook and get drinks no, for everybody? No, 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 and, no, 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 no. Well, I tell you what. I do, do you not. Run, you, I, you put on an apron and, and, and stew up some chili or what do no, you No, man. Oh, you're, I'm, you're, no, you're, I'm you're, asking. No, I okay. You're no. being fucking like Why? an asshole because you're trying to pretend like I'm a woman. No, okay? no, no, no. Well, but, mm, no, you're not a woman. Okay. <laughs> no, but you're. Yeah, you're no, I'm, you're very feminine. No, I'm not very feminine. No, I mean, not really, but but I mean, if I was in jail and I had to choose a a, a cellmate, and I, you know, and I I would choose you. What the? Because fuck? I could shave you down, and then you'd be like, mm, no, mm, that's mm. fucking stupid. Yeah. That's not as shitty. Okay? No, I know it is. Dude, I'm not saying 30, I would. Fuck. I don't want fucking what? 36 people seeing this or hearing this and, <laughs> and thinking that I'm a fucking dude. There's so, I have so many more than 36 listeners. You're being you're being. Oh. What is Come that? On, dude. What are you doing? Let me check Twitter and see. I have I have like forty thousand followers. You don't have no. We this is you the have biggest twenty five followers. This podcast is the stop it, please. <laughs> Podcast. Stop it! Stop it, Brian. We need we need some fucking sound effects for my podcast. Somebody said we're making history. Get some sound. Get a fucking explosion of sound, guys, so I can show Chris how just how fucking huge this podcast is. They, somebody said it was. Uh, uh, <clears throat> say they right here. You stream is so hilarious. I love Chris D'Elia and Brian Count, but they put me first. But it wasn't. It wasn't oh, trying to be a favorite. God thing. damn it! You're fucking competing with this in my podcast. Stop trying to alpha my podcast. I'm not dude. trying to. Alpha I'll have shit, you fucking dude. removed from my no, podcast. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. All right. Now listen. I'm a good guy. Let's go back to you in sports. Okay. You have very short legs, which no. is amazing. Okay. No, Look, but, I didn't come on here to be fucking bashed. No, and but, if you're just saying okay. I have short legs, well, I don't have short legs. Okay, uh, I'm six two. Uh, yeah, no, because all your you have a very long, ridiculously long torso. That's next. fucking shitty. Okay, no, but I'm just saying you're you mad do because have, you're five nine. I'm not five nine. I'm six feet. But here's the thing. And I can see your the top of your head, and which is the you know. It's, I'm not going to say you're, you're not bald. You're not bald. I'm not saying you're bald. <laughs> well, then why are you saying I? Why are you bringing it up? I'm not. I have. I keep my hair close to the bone. Because I don't like, I don't have no, time. No, no, to, I know because you're an actor and you never know when you're going to need to play like a, an older Frenchman or something. <laughs> what? That's, I am a character actor. I don't play fucking older Frenchmen. Stop using my age. I will. No, I no, will. no. You're not, you're not old, but I'm just saying, you know how like Frenchmen are always like, I don't care about my hair or whatever. And they're just like, if it goes, it goes. Like they live that's in the moment. That's your French accent? But they live in the moment. And that's a terrible French accent. I know, but I'm just saying. No, I'm, because, because, si, 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 tu, tu parles français. Hein. Oh, the hair, pas, pas the problème. hair is scared. Mon of, cheveu. The, Mes cheveux, c'est pas, c'est pas. They are scared of the top of my head. They run down to my ears. What or do you whatever sound like you have. What do you? Sound I don't know what it. Uh, you do it. That's your character thing. You. You fucking sound like go you have a cheese grater it. in your mouth. That, that's not how you know. You, you, when, you, when you do, listen to me. When you do French, you, do, you have to have. Uh, you have to speak. You know, in the, no. in the front of your mouth, like that. Like that. Like that. Really, bro, with the fucking. That's dog. not my dog, dude. Right. It's not my dog. C'est ne pas mon chien. C'est ne pas mon chien. So mon Brian. chien. Did you ever... Um, Sorry, that's French. I, I studied in Europe. I'm losing my English. What so. do you mean you studied in Europe? But you Did you have rickets as a kid? Cause no, okay. that's fucking... What I'm are you cur- talking I'm about? I'm just curious. Your legs are... They look so, They look like... They're not short. I don't have short fucking legs. No, but if you... Okay, let me just put it this way. Okay, if what? there was a play or a TV show right. and they needed somebody to play a bird... You, okay. No, but I mean, you look like more like a bird, like a stork or something than I do. That's all I'm trying to say. Only without... 
Stork's the wrong word. Cause, um, what is the kind of bird with a long, big body and very short leg? Not a penguin. That's uh, that's. Okay. You're. What is it? You're being. Yeah. Okay, stop making that noise because you just made me, you're making me want to punch you in the fucking face. You can play a penguin. I no, mean, no, no. Yeah, okay, you're making you're making me really angry. Uh, uh, I'm just saying that you play a. Is that is that obnoxious when somebody's like, oh, well, I mean, <laughs> I love when people get caught between yes and no. Uh, uh, <laughs> I hate I hate those people, and most of those people who do that are your friends, because you hang out with losers. I was doing that as a joke one time. I said to this girl, I go, um, how how would you? What, I mean, what about my body? How would you describe it? She goes, <laughs> like that. She you goes, have a, you, you know, have a good you, body, though. You have a good body. But she was. But, but she, she was, had dated this pro athlete, oh, this baseball player. No. She's like, no, yeah, yeah. I was like, you're using a high pitched voice, and that's and that's like, oh, yeah. Which is how you describe like a Honda. Good yeah, car. yeah, that's true. Not a Mercedes, you're, you're but not a, it's a good you're not car. a Ferrari. That's what she was saying. Yeah, yeah. And then I pulled my pants off though, and she was like, "Holy oh. shit!" She starts singing. Girls do that when I show them my Wong. What are you talking about? No, I don't know why. I think it's because it's so crazy big and ridged, and they're like, "Oh." oh, oh. But like, let me ask you something though: Is it weird for them that when you take your penis out, yeah. there's a really loud noise that goes like this? What? what? What are you laughing at? Why? That's not what my dick, that's not what the sound might. If my dick had a mouth and could make mm-hmm. noise, it would sound like. Uh, 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 no, there it that, is. That, that, that's fireworks. Is that's, that, that's, what that's, is that? That's, is that, that sounds like herpes. That's you shitting yourself when you, when you take your dick out. <laughs> yeah. I shit, I shit like a firecracker. That literally sounded like, like ah, that, that, that's herpes. That's when you know, that's, that's the blisters popping. Watch this. I'll pull my pants out and then give it. Ready? Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry about the fluid. Try it again. Ready? Uh, here, check. Let me shoot. Let me take my dick. Oh, 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 oh. Brian, that's oh, so, my, that's all those, so all stupid. All those blisters pop. I sorry. can't believe you're fucking 50 years old. And you I'm not 50, shit. dude. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know how old you are. God damn it. I'm in my f- third, like late. Maybe I'm in my, f- I don't even okay, know. Okay, listen. Bad. Nobody doesn't know how old they are unless they're 90. You know, you so. know what it is, dude? I just, I just walked the earth, bro. That's, how old are you? Like, what do you mean? Exactly. Quick. Tell me right now. Like, how old am I? Yeah. See, you're fucking stalling. No, but in, what are you talking about? In, like in years, man. Oh. In human years. Oh, in, in human. You just said human ears. Okay. In human. <laughs> in human ears. I'm no, listen, you're 30. talking by time. In human years. <laughs> uh, how old are you? Yeah. Now, uh. where, um, look, you can look it up on the internet, man. I'm like in my, I'm like 30 something. <clears throat> when were you born? What year? Quick. Like in wh- what do you mean? No, what? fucking say it now. I'm, I don't, what are you asking? How I'm, fucking old are you? How when were you like born? I was born in like the 1970s? Yeah, I, like I can't that. hear you, dude. Why? With them fucking mics. What's wrong with your goddamn mics? No, there's nothing wrong. I with was born. <laughs> You're just doing fucking noises because you don't want to tell. Oh. What's that? Oh man, that's what is that? Know, that's just, a chainsaw. That's my poo. <laughs> <laughs> I pooed. That's uh, uh, I'm 40. Was that a uh, the noise? Was, I'm not trying to be a dick. Was that noise the noise of me on stage crushing? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is, oh, is that me? That was from my show, I think. That was not from your show. When I get on stage, when I when Chris gets on stage and I have to follow him, he goes like this. He goes, "Hey Brian, try to follow that shit. Try to Hey Brian, I just machine gun the whole audience. Follow that. Go have a good time." And he starts twirling his finger like this in a circle. And and it's fucking obnoxious. Really, and it's hard for you, dude, because you can't do it. Dude, I You can either do stand up or you can't. Yeah, well, you know what? Talk to the people from Vancouver cuz guess what? There's yeah. still there's in in Vancouver right now where the stage used to be, <laughs> right. it's just splinters and smoke and flies. That right? why? That's because they hired you to fucking fix the stage? No, you're no. A construction worker no, and that's I'm how using, you make your money by that? No, I'm using a fucking metaphor oh, for how oh, I crush the stage. Oh, I I'm splintered sorry. the stage with my comedy. Oh shit. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Um, uh, what? Now, um I want to know for a second about because I, I told you a long time ago you were going to be a star thank you um, and it seems you're on your way you went from glory days yeah. to Whitney uh, what do you what, do you like have goals yeah you do yeah I actually do like what I set goals when I started doing stand up I, uh, I set a goal to I set a goal when I wanted to be a regular in, on the, in the comedy store and the laugh factory yeah I set a goal when I wanted to do my first TV set mm-hmm. uh, set on TV and then I set a goal of uh, what I wanted to do, where where I wanted to be in movies. And then, but then I got the TV show. So, 
Well, um, in all seriousness, I, I think setting goals. And I have other goals. There are a lot of young people who listen to this. I think setting goals is one of and spe- Setting really specific goals. Yeah, I set specific really goals. really important like, for success. Like uh, one of them was uh, 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 to be on the fucking sh- shittiest, worst fucking friend I know's podcast. No, dude, don't, you don't. This is the biggest podcast in America. <laughs> no, I love Brian and... Uh, yeah, I don't know. My goals, yeah. What, like, what do you mean specific? Well, I mean, I mean, when you, and I think this is with most people who, who achieve success I've seen, is that they are very specific about the goals they set for themselves. Yeah. They can see them in technicolor. Like yeah. They, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, you know, when you, and, and there's a really interesting um, exercise that if well, you ask yourself, if you actually ask yourself what you want and you're really honest, it's hard. Because you've got to face up to I, a lot of shit. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but I, as a comic, I was like, I want to have my first TV spot doing stand-up by the time I was 29. Yeah. And then I wanted to have like a half-hour special by the time I was 32. Right. And you've done that. Yeah, I've done that. <clears throat> but I, And then I, I did my first TV spot when I was 28. And that was all really aggressive because I didn't think that that would happen. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I wanted it to happen. Well, and, and I, your dad, a lot of people don't know your dad has yeah. been in the business to refer to, and a very successful a, director, director producer. Yeah, director. And what did he direct and produce? Uh, well, from doogie hauser early on oh wow yeah back when you were 42 like uh now he does harry's God law now he does harry's law now he does harry's law but he yeah. did ali mcbeal yeah ali mcbeal the practice the pra- no he did some of the practice he did he ran boston league uh boston legal great show um ali mcbeal uh chicago hope he di- and then he just directed he your directed dad's a, a stud yeah, he's, he's like six foot three long hair he's a stud yeah bill delia always dress well bill delia great yeah, he is guy. always dressed great well guy. your family's very close yeah, we're really close. And I your brother, came, Matt, who's hilarious, and I want to have him on the podcast. Your brother, Matt's a writer-director, and I think his movies get yeah, he just m- sold huge it. acclaim, Yeah, right? it's huge. It's getting, it's getting really, really— What's it called? Uh, I'm, uh, uh, it's called uh, Godfather 2. Um, okay, what? that's already been goddamn done. Oh, so. no, that, I'm sorry. I get them confused. Yeah. He did a movie called American Animal. American Animal. And it's, there, uh, it, it's, it's it coming out. It's, no, it's already made. There's oh. not a part for you. Okay. No, I'm just— I don't know. Let me tell you about this movie. It's it's coming out in April in yeah. New York. Yeah. And then and then depending how it does, it'll it'll get a wide release or whatever. But uh, yeah. it's really good. And the 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 acclaim and the the critics. I mean, it's on, it's on top ten lists. It's it's crazy. You have a favorite actor? Um, I do. Yeah. Who? Well, I have a few. Besides, obviously, I really like my work. There it is, right there. American Animal. Oh. That's him. Wow. Yeah. He's a stud. Yeah, he's a stud. He really is. He dates the hottest girls in the world. Yeah, in the world. Like I, the girls that he dates, I, 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 he's the, the best looking women. But so seen. he, he, uh, my favorite actor is Greg Kinnear and Val Kilmer. I like those two. <laughs> do you? Yeah, I really do. That's interesting. I think they're great. I like I like them a lot too. But that's it. Yeah. That's it. I mean, out of Dan- Daniel Day Lewis and all those people, you choose Greg Kinnear. I mean, look, Daniel Day Lewis is fucking great. Yeah. But when I watch Greg Kinnear, I fucking like. I'm like. It, it like I'm like I'm laughing about how good he is. Really? Yeah, it's weird. He's and great. Val Kilmer, I love. Yeah. Um, I I. Uh, are you attracted to Val Kilmer? Or no. What, what are you oh, talking about? What I'm, are you suggesting? No, I don't know. I don't know what. I'm just asking. Oh, the question. okay. Are you or what are you no, saying? Okay. I'm straight, I'm straight. So anyway, um, <clears throat> but then there are guys I like to watch a lot. Like I love I love Brian, watching. Brian no, man. What? I like watching. Uh, I thought you said me. I didn't say you. Okay. I like watching Keanu Reeves, and I like watching. Okay, man. Okay. And I like watching Michael Douglas a lot. Really? Yeah, but I Daniel Day Lewis and Christian Bale; these guys are fucking phenomenal. Yeah. You know, I get it. They're they're the be- they're the best of what. Well, they do. Uh, Christian Bale said they said, "Why do you push yourself? You lose all this weight. You do all this stuff." Because what he did in the fighter blew me. Unbelievable. Fucking it's away, unbelievable. Right? Yeah. And and he said, "Well, you know, I I I, I wear makeup and and yeah. I and I pretend for a living. It makes me feel like a pussy. And basically, I I do that stuff so I feel like I'm working. Yeah. I'm a working man. It's great. You know. It's funny. But what what are your give me your top fa- five favorite movies of all time? I really like Husbands by John mm-hmm. Cassavetes. Mm. Swingers, mm-hmm. I fucking love watching that. Um, those are the two I always say. But other, other, I love John Cassavetes. Like I love uh, Killing of a Chinese Bookie. I love all those wow. movies that he. Yeah, he's I'm my surprised favorite. to hear you say that. He's my favorite. Did you grow up on film? Your dad. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Do you think you're film literate? Um, <clears throat> not as much as my dad and brother, but. When did you um decide you want to be an actor? I don't know. I always want to be a comedian. Really. You did because yeah. you were a jackass. When I, yeah, I was just always because you love to laugh. Yeah. yeah, I'm the yeah. same way. I, I always want to be a comedian, and then I just kind of started like writing. Like I did, uh, I wrote a, a, some things that got optioned when I was in my early 20s, and then I, you know, I made some money, but it never, never got produced. And kind of, I got on stage as a, at a loss, where I was like, I can't do anything. <laughs> I, I think that's actually one of the major problems with people who do stand up is they get on stage thinking nothing else worked out. Yeah, because it's the hardest fucking thing to do. Right, it, it never gets easy. 
And, uh, and especially but when that's you have to keep I, coming up with new jokes. I know, yeah, I know. Writing new stuff, you know. But that's what I did. I, I just went on, I, I just went on and, and I was like, oh, fucking, I'm not getting any of this shit produced that I, you know, and I'm doing guest spots here and there as an actor. But I always want to do stand-up. But who, who's, who's, um, who are your heroes? Do you have any heroes? Uh, as a stand-up? I don't know, just in life. I think um, it's important to have them. I think. Who are yours? Um, I, I don't know, man. I, I was thinking about that the other day. As I get older, you know, what's funny is the mystery of accomplishment tends to dissipate. In other words, when you're younger and you see people write a great novel or somebody, yeah. you know, do something, in, you know, whether it might be stand-up or be a great actor or be a, a great painter um, or even a great athlete, you go, wow, you know, that, that's such a mystery and stuff, and that's my hero because mm -hmm. they seem to be otherworldly. Mm -hmm. And then as you accomplish more and you get older and you see what the process, what it takes, you realize that everybody, everybody you admire <clears throat> works their ass off. Yeah, that's true. And, and faces the exact same challenges. Mm -hmm. They're just really good at navigating those challenges. Mm -hmm. They're really good at not in a lot of so much of um, I, I'm reading a book for you guys um, <clears throat> called 10 Minute Toughness. Mm -hmm. And it's written by a sports psychologist. And really it's about the biggest thing about sports is controlling your mind. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing, in my opinion, about life, but especially sports, it, if you want your body to do something mm -hmm. consistently, <coughs> especially in a heightened state mm -hmm. like competition, you better have control of your mind. Right. And <clears throat> mind control is not about willpower. Mind control, according to this psychologist, and I, I agree with it because I do it, is, is learning how to manage your self-interest, uh, your self-image. Learning how to ask yourself and tell yourself positive things. <clears throat> Asking yourself um, um, empowering questions. Because one of the things is like most of us are walking around with a primary question in our mind. Most of us wake up with a question that's usually an unhelpful one. It's usually a question that is not empowering it's usually something like what if i'm am i lovable right what if i fail right. what if i you know it's never something helpful and what you learn to do is reprogram your mind to start asking yourself the right questions and and telling yourself the right things um because you'll find the answer and that's that's um <clears throat> so as i get older my heroes are the people that are able to do that consistently mm -hmm. and very well mm -hmm. And then I think your job as you get older is to try to become your own hero. I mean, right. or at least try to emulate the people that yeah. you respected with your accomplishments and stuff. Yeah. But I think anybody who can write really well, right. like John Irving, who was actually my wrestling coach in, in high school, which is so random for a while. Huh. You know, he's a great American writer. And, the, the, you know, the, when you read people like that, you go, how the fuck do you how do you how do you write? How do you weave these stories with these characters? And, uh, yeah. and, and I also think like sometimes writers, if you talk to like great novelists, like I wrote a book that called The Brief and Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde by Juno Diaz, won a Pulitzer Prize, I believe. This dude spent 10 years writing yeah, I know. A, that's, a book. That's insane. You want to talk about an act of faith? That's Holy so, shit. That's so fucking crazy. It's heroic. It's fucking heroic. I, I'm going to spend 10 years, and I don't know if it's right. even going to get um, you know, published – and it's about it's about four generations of a Dominican family mm -hmm. under this dictator. You read the book, you're like, holy fucking shit! You, That's you, crazy. you you learn everything there is to be about life, especially yeah. the fact that you're lucky as shit to be living in America because yeah. you could be living somewhere else. Yeah, <coughs> my uh, my I think that my hero is always like if you know, I don't really ever think in terms of like who's my hero, but um, I think of always like uh, guys who just love what they do and are good at it. You know, like, mm. like I, like Tupac was my favorite. He was great, up, and I just he think was great. That he was the best. Well, see that, but that brings me to another point. It's not just about b being good at what you do; it's about being original. Yeah, and being being innovative and original and, uh, with your right. expression. That the artists to me that I, I admire are the ones that are not trying to be. They're not. They're not seduced by the public embrace. Yeah, they, they're they're rather they're they're people who are trying to break the mold or yeah. just trying to surprise and shock themselves. I certainly always try to strive to do that with my stand-up because you know you can write shit and you know it's going to work because it's a trick yeah you yeah can yeah. Write funny yeah, yeah yeah but the idea is then you go i can't do that because yeah. it's not authentic you know you gotta yeah. you gotta kind of i i think it's good as a comic or any any artist or whatever you are god for, help me for calling myself an artist but i think it's it's good to always kind of like have 20 30 percent of the population not like what you yeah. do if everybody likes what you do i think that you're doing something you're that's you're you don't have enough flavor man because not everybody likes you know Chocolate or truffles. <laughs> yeah. yeah good, great metaphor, Brian. Yeah, that was good. That was, I'm uh, brilliant. You're I'm good fucking, with metaphors. Did you guys write man. that down, huh? My you, fans? Um, 
So, but what else, though, do you want to talk about? Because we're, you're right there, I almost fucking fell asleep. <laughs> what? This, you are, no, that, I not, will not stand for that kind of fucking abuse on my podcast. No, dude. I'm, okay, why'd you, why'd you, when you called me to do the podcast, what'd you say? Because you're real. So, will you do it? And I was like, yeah, sure, but I'm going to be raw. And you were like, okay, I appreciate you that. You didn't say like that. Like, you didn't say I got to be raw. You're so, you're, 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 you're acting, you're, this is a character you're doing. No, right no, no, I'm not. Am I not raw? <clears throat> am I not raw? No. I'm not not raw. Well, I you're don't, saying I am raw? No, stop using the word raw. You're annoying me. I'm going to, I'll fucking fight you right now. I'll do jujitsu. Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't fucking. Uh, mm, no. <laughs> mm, I don't think so. Mm, hey. Uh, did you ever sing? <clears throat> Does this answer your question? 525,600 minutes. Does okay. that answer your question? Well, uh, you up? know, your voice is all right. It's not. No, it's not all right. It, I think it, that they have weird uh, mics. Because well, no, I just. They don't have you, a pop thing. I, I'm in the room with you, and I just heard you saying you can kind of carry a tune. I put a sign up right in the front window, advertisement right in the front window, and all of a sudden, success coming out of the blue. <laughs> okay. uh, does that answer your question? I, what is that? Are you singing musicals at me? You sang Rent, and what is that? Little, little Shop of Horrors. So you're actually a secret musical lover, no, aren't you? No, Well, th- then what are you doing? Son of come on See, you're doing tomorrow. fucking no. See, don't do that. Bet your bottom dollar that no. tomorrow no. there'll be sun. That's so bad. But I have a really good no, voice. No, you don't. I, you know what it is? Because I was in Vancouver crushing, so my voice is a little... Are you doing... You can't sing Seal on my fucking song, bro. I mean, on my podcast. I'm not trying to... First of all, I'm... You fucked up that sentence. It's not song. It's I a know. podcast, okay? Because I, Second of all, I'm, I'm, you I'm asked so me if I could sing. Your voice. You, no, no. You asked me if I could sing, and, and you do the math. How do you get that? At reverb. For the very first time that I saw your brown eyes. You went up, said hello, and I said hi. You do the math, okay. but I'm not saying that You know, that I, dude, that's all right. You're acting like I do the math. You're, that's obnoxious, like you, that you're amazing. Yeah, it's okay. Um, thank you, but I'm not. I, don't yeah, I, I didn't am. say you were. I don't say thank you. I didn't compliment you. I said you're acting that way. Okay. All yeah, right, I'm, that's fine. That's fine. I took, you know, a year of singing. There's a place for us. It, a special place. That's so bad. That's so bad. That's so but do you bad. see how I hit different levels? Yeah, but that's not. That's just you're just going. And you hear the echo like that? That's hard to do with your voice. You no, I open my throat. I open my throat. You're really bad. Stop checking. Who are you checking? Um, you're always on your nah, phone. Nah, it's stupid because I have a lot of like fucking guys with blue check marks following me on Twitter that the like uh, verified accounts and like oh. famous people. So I'm just oh, checking. My, to see what what the fuck like. does that mean? I don't What's know. This this Twitter shit. No, nah, it's stupid. I know. Change it's your so, middle name so to Twitter. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Chris Twitter Delia. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I'm you're checking still on that phone from us. 1998. Somebody, it's incredible. Oh, somebody just said, read this. I want you to read this one. What's that tweet say, dude? If you can fucking eyes can handle it. Chris Delia is so raw. God damn it, Brianna. No. Whoever that is. Brianna Brie Lieber is her name. And it's at, not. And she said I'm raw. That's you're acting like. Was that Justin Lieber's sister or something? I don't know. I guess it might be. It didn't. That doesn't say Lieber on there. You're lying on my podcast. Uh, I'm trying to be like, uh, I don't I don't know. But I think <laughs> he doing sent that. this. Stop growling. Mm-hmm. Um, do you, uh, do you read the newspaper ever? Do you read? I mean, have you ever um, read a book? Uh, yeah, and I got to be honest. I know mm. I'm going against uh, public opinion here, but I find it boring. <laughs> what? It's like you can't- Chris doesn't eat vegetables. Chris, literally, I was like, he, he, was, he was eating a sandwich, and he peeled the lettuce off. I go, you don't eat lettuce? He goes, I don't eat vegetables. I go, you don't? He goes, they're just not good. Dude. Yeah, they're not good, dude. <laughs> you and you know what makes me real mad is like 25-year-old white chicks that are just like, they're good if you put them with the right. Re- you don't like vegetables. You like the sauce on the vegetables, <laughs> dude. So stop fucking acting like you like vegetables because guess what? Dude, vegetables fucking blow. <laughs> Beef, good. more like fruit vegetables because fruit is the shit. <laughs> But they're good for you. Why? By the way, how did we miss that shit? In, on, how, is it, how is it that the good... 
the good, the stuff that's good for us doesn't taste good. How is that fucking possible? I don't know, but that's life. They practice doesn't always but it, feel but good. But you gotta, you gotta be practicing. But if you do what you want to do and you're fucking like, you dude, wake I practice up, stand up time, every fucking day. What time do you wake up? Give us your, your I, routine kills me. It's so funny. I, Give us your routine. Well, now that I'm on the show, I gotta and wake this, up. Early. By the way, this is not, there are a lot of young men listening. This is not a good example of how to live your life, but tell us how you wake well, up. Well, I wake up early because I'm on the show. Because, because well, before that, okay, before that, because Chris literally, literally, I think it's fair to say you are an obsessive compulsive. That right? would be fair. Yeah, you're an obsessive compulsive person. You are an, a true eccentric. And and so you, before you were doing the TV show, yes, you'd wake up at what time? Um, I don't remember because I've been on TV for so long. I've been so successful. But before oh. that, I think if I'm if God I'm being damn honest, it. I think what I'm being honest is because I had glory days before Whitney. But I think if I'm being honest, I, I would wake up early. But if I think if I if think if I'm I'm being honest, I would wake up at I would wake up at about I would wake up noon. You wake up at noon. But it's, that's when it's the brightest because the sun is at the top of the – because people are like, you're burning daylight. And I'm like, when I wake up, that's fucking where it is. Okay, so then you'd get up, and what would you do when you wake up? First? You know, I'd hang out for a little bit, like an hour, just kind of roll around on the couch. <laughs> you'd roll around? Yeah. Um, like a cat. You're like a cat. <laughs> you're like a cat. Um, and then what would you do? Would you eat? What would, would you eat? eat? I would eat, like, applesauce, or I would usually eat applesauce or, like, maybe a banana. You'd have a you'd have an applesauce or a banana. That's it. Go get coffee. Go get coffee. Chill out. Get ready for the but day. But you'd been chilling out. You woke up at fucking no, but noon. I'm saying, but and you rolled around on the couch like a kitty kid, kid, kitty, kid, kid, kitty. No, no, no. But I, and, I'm saying I I would get I would get I would let the day I do this thing where I just like let the day kind of take me where where it's going. But, and I'm fucking usually at the coffee bean. I run this block. I'm not going to say where it is because I don't want people showing up, but I run this block in the valley where I live yeah. where there's like a Wells Fargo, a coffee bean. There's a shop. There used to be a salad place. I used to run that place. Like if there was Foursquare back then, I would have fucking been the mayor. <laughs> and so you're at the coffee bean. You drink how many cups of coffee? Two. Two. But, but iced coffee, so that's three shots each, so that's six shots. And then I'm good. I'm six ready to go. Six shots of espresso. Around 4.30, I'll get a turkey sandwich. So you haven't eaten anything until no 4.30. Lettuce. No lettuce. No lettuce. So what's on the turkey sandwich? Honestly, mayonnaise and onions, and onions. that's about it. You put mayo and onions. Doesn't your breath smell like onions? No, because I have gum that I fucking get usually at night, but I haven't got up to that part yet. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, so you eat a turkey and sandwich I, on white bread? Sometimes. Okay, so you have no. There's no nutrition really going on no, in your body. Uh, You've got some sugar and what, some then. flour. It's, it's okay. changed since since then. Yeah. Now, you know, I gotta have my shirt off on TV a lot, so I gotta fucking what <laughs> what what what. <laughs> Damn What's it. That? What? All right, keep going. They're talking, to me about, me. they're talking to me about calendars and shit. Anyway, oh, God, no, they're what? not. Ooh, Nobody's what? talking to you about calendars. You're not going to do the Whitney boyfriend calendar, hey, dude. tweet at me if you want me to uh, be No, don't. Please don't tweet at this fucking guy. So Brian can read it. No, it's embarrassing. Listen to me. So you, you, then, so you, you're, you're pursing your lips. You're making your lips full right now. Let me talk to me. Stop doing that. Oh, I'm not. It's making I have me violent. I full lips. I have full lips. It's I, making I me fucking like it. violent. I'll, put, I'll throw you in a flying headlock okay. just on principle. All right, all right, all right. So anyway, so okay. then I'll, I'll go home. I'll go over my shit. You know, maybe I'm going to do some new jokes or whatever on, at night. And, uh, and then I'll just go on stage. I'll wait for nighttime, and I'll go on stage, and I'll do it. And I'll just, you know. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop the it. audience. Stop it. And if they're just like, so you do stand up and you do well. A lot of times, now they know who I am. But before that, they were like, "Who the fuck is this <laughs> well, guy?" They're not all saying and, that. You're being really obnoxious um, and self. So anyway, congratulatory. Thank you. But so anyway, I, I did, stop <laughs> fucking thanking me. I didn't give you a fucking compliment. Okay. So <sighs> then I would fucking chill. I go to a diner. You're the worst guest I've ever had on my podcast. <laughs> I'm the second guest. You've you're had. still the worst I've ever had. But okay. keep going. And then I would go to the diner and hang out with some comics, build relationships. That's good for life. That's good. Yeah, all right. Okay. Laugh a lot, dude. I love laughing. I love hanging out. You know, my, my joke before I had kids is, you know, I'm like, uh, I'd wake up. I'd be like, I'm going to fuck whatever her name is. And then I'm going to do some eating. Then I'm going to do some laughing. Maybe a lot of laughing. Then I'm going to go do some jujitsu or stand up or whatever I want. Yep. And then I'm going to fuck another stranger. Maybe yep. on my front lawn because yep. my neighbors are nosy. Condom. Fuck you. No, Not you got to use one. condoms. Nah, on, I'll take a pill. Roll the dice. I'm a sex gambler. No, but that's bullshit. You, you use condoms because you otherwise your your butthole would hurt a lot more. Um, what? Dude, <laughs> what? That is. I am not. I can't even respond to that. I will fucking throw you off my no, podcast. What are you talking about? I will have you thrown off. I don't have. I don't do. Oh, by the way, I'll tell you a What's funny up? story. The Farrelly brothers, um, who are doing our friend Will Sasso's movie, mm -hmm. and I think it was Peter Farrelly. I met him once, and he told me this hilarious story about how 
his dad's a doctor and he came in and he goes, ah, his dad's like, what are you doing? He's like, nothing. My ass is killing me. He goes, what do you mean your ass is killing you? He goes, it's just my asshole. I don't know what it is. His dad goes, your asshole is killing you? Why would your asshole? He goes, I don't know, man. It's just killing. Me. I had a crazy night last night. And his dad goes, what the, let me see your ass. What are you talking about? His dad's a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, I don't want to show it to you. He goes, let me see your ass. Don't be an idiot. He goes, open right, your ass. Right, let me see. Right, right. So Pete opens his asshole, and it's his dad, and he had a condom stuck in his asshole, like a joking around. Oh, joking my around. God. And, and his dad's like, what the fuck? What are you doing? That is so And, and this, is, this, is, this is why his dad's so great and why they're, they're so great. His dad goes, his dad goes um, well, show your mother. Go show your mother. Show your mother. <laughs> oh, dad. my God. That's hilarious. Yeah, I, he told him that story. It was hilarious. Man, it was like six years ago in Nantucket or wherever I was. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah, you're. I'm friends with really famous people. So. Oh god, no, I man, it's not I, a big deal. I, that's not what a happened? big deal. You're right. Where? So why are you? No, it's just it? that Barack I'll, one time said to me, you, "Barack Obama, you, you don't know you, fucking Barack Obama." We have a timeshare in the Tahoe. What? In Tahoe. First know, of all, presidents don't have timeshares. I know. They just I know. Have nobody knows about it. It's embarrassing. Put no, you're not listening to what I'm what? saying. Where? I'm saying presidents um, don't have time. I know, I know, and that's why he breaks all the rules for me. But anyway, um, I'm trying to steer him uh, uh, away from his big government um, uh, philosophy. You, uh, do you have any uh, political philosophy, or you just float around like a bird? <clears throat> that's so condescending. No, but I mean, I'm just asking because you tend to flit around and uh, you eat sandwiches and you you drink coffee and you know. Dude, I'm, an, I'm a fucking American, man, and I, what, what is that shit? What is that? Nothing, just my sound effect for how I always look at you and you're like... What are you talking kitty, about? Kitty, 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 kitty. That's making me really furious. That's making me hot no, but, inside my body. I'm okay. going to punch you. Okay, but, but you are like a kitty cat, so... You know, Why am like I like a, a kitty cat? Because no, I'm fucking like, cunning and like... like a, I'm going to roll on the couch. I don't just, fucking say I'm like a kitty cat anymore. No, but if, you, if there is a, a, a role to play, like an animated role, like a little kitty cat, kitty cat, like you'd, you would, you'd probably get cast in it, true or false. You're making me mad. Maybe because of my acting ability, I could be like a cat. But no, I'm not going to fucking just be... Fa- they- just mu- meow for us. And like, no, I'm not going to fucking your back meow. and meow. Like, like clean, your little, clean your little face. No, man. Okay, but you, you don't, you've never had anybody tell you like you're like a little kitty cat? No, nobody fucking said I'm like a little kitty cat except you. Oh. Right now. No. I- don't do that fucking thing. Don't do that. That's really annoying. Okay. That's really annoying. Brian, please stop. Okay, but just just give us give the fans like just arch your back and clean your little clean your little <laughs> your little whiskers. Why are you being sexual? Clean about it? clean your fucking whiskers. Ew. Dude, clean your whiskers. Dude, come on. Don't do. For those of you yeah, not watching, the, the, for those of you not watching and just listening, Clean this studio f- is four feet by four feet, and it's really uncomfortable Clean because he's touching me. Oh God! There's one microphone. Uh, come here, kitty cat. I'm There's gonna, one microphone. Uh, let me see your pussy. God, I can't believe where where my podcast is. Are you trying to not get hired anywhere? I know. I just. <laughs> I want, this is outrageous. All right. Hey, listen. Uh, this has been pretty amazing. Is it done? We did it now? Wow. Know. See that? You see how fast an hour it does goes go, by? Time does go f- fast when, oh. you're, when you're rocking, dude. And I was rocking. Uh, well, Thank I you. was leading the show. No, I'm, a, no, no, no. I'm a podcast genius. Um, I was just granted the look podcast at, genius award. Look at what Will Sasso tweeted. Watching at Brian Callen and at Chris D'Elia be funny on the Brian Callen show, in parentheses, which is a dumb name for a show. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Sasso, you son of a bitch. He's going to be, uh, Will Sasso is going to be my, my uh, I think, my next guest. Oh, really? Oh, my fucking God. Dude, we haven't talked about the 10-minute oh, podcast. Oh, that's right, at all. You're an idiot. Oh, okay. Um, I'm glad uh, we're going to end on this note. Um, I, I, we, Chris, uh, myself, Chris D'Elia, myself, and Will Sasso. If you don't know Will Sasso, he was uh, on Mad TV for six years. He was on Less Than Perfect. He was on Shit My Dad Says. Uh, and he's he's coming out in the uh, Farrelly Brothers movie Three Stooges. He's playing Curly. He's so funny in this. He's he's probably he's truly one of the most talented people I've ever met in my life. Yeah, he really is. That, great. You know, he can sing and play the guitar and write ba, songs. Ya, da, da, okay. da, da, I'm not talking about your you. Body is wonderland. Stop it! I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Chris, uh, the fucking Will, Will Sasso. Sasso. You fucked yeah. it up. It's Will Sasso. Okay, well, don't start singing in the middle of my fucking my rant. Bubblegum lips. <laughs> What is that? I don't know. I just I, sometimes it's just create just my own shit. Okay, well, don't act like music just comes out of you. Let me finish my thought. <laughs> anyway, Will Sasso. And and, uh, and so um, myself, Will, and Chris decided we're, we were going to do a podcast. So I'm going to have this podcast. I'm going to have another one. But this one is going to be. It's called the 10 minute podcast. Yeah. And it's literally just 10 minutes. 
and no more. And in fact, we're going to have to talk to Mr. Redman about getting on his channel. Yeah, we should do um, that. <clears throat> because um, it's really funny. We already laid down three. And if Will can get his shit together with his tech people, we're going to But get I think what I think the problem is that Will's too busy wearing shorts. Yeah. To do anything. Yeah, Will. You guys know Will Sasso from Mad TV. He was on Mad TV much longer than Brian and more successful. But well, he, you know, that's obnoxious. What, I, I get what, what? What's this tweet more. say, dude? I'm trying to... I can't read this for some reason. Oh, uh, fucking this is... Fuck, Brian. You need your own show. God damn well, that it. Was to me. It's the same girl. Oh, no, it's a different chick. That's... It. <laughs> Tell that girl, like, listen, she doesn't, she's never met me in person. I, my charisma dwarfs yours. It fucking dwarfs yours. What's this say? What's this one say? Stop fucking. Just to please help me out with this one. Reading. Can you read that? So I, I can't see it because it says, the lighting is dead. Brian Count, Chris, say my name so I can jizz. It's Jessica Caddow. And that's Brian who said that because. Um, oh, she wanted you, she wanted, oh, she you wanted to say me to name? say it? Oh, shit. Nah, Jessica Caddow. Listen, all right, I'll say it sexy, then you say it. Ready? Okay. Watch this. Jessica Caddow. Oh God, that's so disgusting, no, it's dude. That's not. It's not. We well, hear a lot of. There's a lot of soda and bread in my voice. So, uh, hey, uh, Jessica Caddo, uh, this is a shout out to you, sweetheart. It's yeah, first Kato. of all, it's Caddo. Oh fuck. Jessica Caddo. Oh, that, that's like you know what? That that's like a present in French. Caddo. Jessica Caddo. Jessica. Jessica Caddo. <laughs> Read this. Jessica Caddo. Hold on. Uh, Chris should have his own podcast so I can masturbate to him without being interrupted by Brian. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> <laughs> these chicks! God damn it! Anyway, so yeah, uh, ten minute podcast. I, have, I minute. have like three female fans. They're all, <laughs> <laughs> it's all dudes. It's all hey dude, I like you on the podcast. <laughs> never a girl, never. Um, it's your hair. If you had short hair, what, do you think you would work in a deli, or what would you do? That's no, I mean fucking. What no, do you but even don't mean? you think your hair is the only reason you work? No, time? man. Oh. In oh. fact, they tried to get me to cut it. Stop posing again. I hate when you do that with your... St Sometimes Chris will send me a picture. He goes, hope you're having a good day. And he'll send me a picture of his face. I'll be like, you fucking asshole. You must have loved it when, with all the advertising when that show came out. Because I, even me, I was just like, this is ridiculous. Dude. Oh, dude. Right? It, yeah, it, it, was, was uh, it was the kind of thing that uh, I would be like, this show has to fuck... If I wasn't in it, I'd be like, this show has to come out so they take these billboards down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've never I, seen I would. I know I would be like, who is this fucking uh, guy? I'd be driving I'd be driving like a mile. It, it'd be a mile <laughs> of billboards. I'd be like, oh, what the fuck? Because you know who the chick is. She's Whitney. But then you see the guy, you'd be like, who the fuck is this? And you asshole? had to do all these poses like... He smiles like, hm, yeah, hm, hm. yeah, like the like his like her girlfriend. You no, play her girlfriend I'm, or boyfriend. No, I'm, even, yeah, okay. No, but I don't know. You're trying to sell it like you don't know. I'm her boyfriend. What are you talking about? I'm a man, yeah. and you've seen the fucking show, and I'm right. and I'm a, a man on it. I'm the right. man. I wear okay. the pants. Well, yeah, I mean, you do physically. What? But, but you you are you the kind of guy, and I don't want to get personal, but when you make love to a woman, does do you like to be dominated? No. Okay, I don't know. Dude, I make, have you first ever, of all... Can I, be, can I ask another question? All right, what? And uh, I don't want to be, because this is... Have you, have, you ever, have you ever had a woman take you with a strap on? No, Okay, Brian. it's a question. I no, don't know. Okay, but you know but the answer to that question, and that's fucking, I don't know. I don't know. You're just trying to, like, put me in a corner here, and that's okay. fucking... Uh, what I do is I'm very... When I make love, I'm very French. <laughs> right, off, right away, right away. What does that. that mean? Like, I, I make love very seriously, yeah. and, I, and I, I do a straight face <laughs> where it's like it lasts 25 minutes. Okay. And yeah. it's fucking beautiful, and I'm inside her. Oh, God, it's so and gross. She, it's, it's not gross. It's not gross. Disgusting. It's beautiful. All right. And uh, I do like, um, I, I say stuff like, you're so beautiful. In French? No, but I'm very French okay, when I do it. Tu es this, it's très the jolie, essence of it. Très jolie, tu es très jolie. And I say something like, I'm softly, like, well, I don't say it, but like, I'm usually softly dominating them, and my tongue is invading their mouth. <laughs> this is fucking beautiful. disgusting. You're ruining my podcast. I feel like taking a shower now, dude. Well, no. No, you don't. Okay, well, just don't. It, I feel like you're saying all this stuff to me, and your mouth is getting all loose and stuff like that. So just sweat no. pools. I don't care. You okay. stop being poetic with your sexual. I'm not trying to be dude. poetic. All right, well, it's just real shit, dude. Yeah, well, you you, you say you you make you're very serious with your love. I am. I am. French. Thank you. But I, I didn't say stop fucking saying thank you. I hate when you do that. I didn't compliment you. Okay. I haven't complimented you in a long time on this podcast. Okay. Sorry. Now, do you wear? Is that a wig? It's or, not a wig. Okay. What the fuck are you I'm talking about? Asking, a wig? It's are not the, a wig. Is, are those extensions? No, those are... I'm a man. I'm a fucking man. Okay. I don't wear. I don't have I'm, extensions. People want to know about Crystalia. You're a fucking TV star. I'm, Thank I'm you. Just trying I to don't get, fucking wear I'm trying extensions. To, you've not right. had any work done on your face or your body or anything like that. No. Okay, that's all natural. It, yes, it's all natural. Good man. Congratulations on that. 
I don't know how you're Well, this, now that you've come on my podcast, be ready to just boom, just skyrocket. Brian, I'm on a fucking network show. It's not, you're not going to fucking get me. I'm I'm helping you, okay? Not really, but just be ready. All I'm saying is just be ready for the next boom, boom, boom. You are on Brian Callen's podcast. You're fucking great. What's he like in person? All that stuff. You'll get a lot of questions about me. Um, and I'd prefer if you just use one word. He's a hero. Really, man? Yeah. There it is. Uh, no, there, that's not where it is. I'm not saying you're a fucking hero. That's so stupid. Why? When does this come out on iTunes? Right now. It's already number one. <laughs> no, Brian. I just got word. Bro. It usually takes a couple of days, like okay. Tuesday. <clears throat> All right. Tuesday. We're doing nice. it. Nice. It's going to be on iTunes, and because I'm your guest, yeah. it's going to have... I, they're projected, and I just checked the internet stats before I got here. It's going to be close to, close to a billion. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm That's not a lot, promising dude. anything. I, I know. I'm really excited. Do you think it's going to be a billion listeners? It was projected. Oh, here's a. I'll, we'll end on this. What? Chris, let's have, let's have a. I know you're really good at math. I am very good. at How math. long do you think a million seconds is? Yeah, yeah, it's a long time. Yeah. Okay, how many? How long? I mean, if you're going by basic... Uh, in days, years, we... It goes... It goes... I think if... Are we talking about, like, what... Where's the sun at this point? How long is a million seconds, you asshole? Well, what do you... First of all, what do you think? I know the answer. Uh, I'm too. asking and you the too. answer. And that's why I think you're trying to get the answer out of me, because that's just bullshit. What is it? That's an easy question. It's 11 days. Obviously. I know that, but I'm saying... But you didn't know that. You guessed. You didn't know. I didn't guess. It's 11 days, it roughly. It How is. long do you think a billion seconds is? That times 100. Good good job. Yeah. No, What's but that? thank you for playing. What is it? It's that times 1,000, which would be th- roughly 33 years. Yeah. That's the difference between a million and a billion. I know. It's so fucking and obnoxious. And they were saying, I guess I was looking it up on, I guess it was like Podcast International doc something. And they were like... <laughs> They were like, check out Chris D'Elia. Uh, There's on no podcast this guy's international. Show. There's no they were like, podcast international. But they were like, they were like, because I get, apparently, like, I have a big following in like China, which there's a lot of people. That's I not guess. I didn't know that there were a lot true. of people in you China. You don't have a big following in China. Nobody knows but, you. Um, By man, the way, do you um, have any parting advice for anybody who wants to be an actor, comedian, or just a celebrity in general? Quit. <laughs> That's all bullshit aside. That's the best. <laughs> That's probably the best advice. There are so many people that could do themselves. If you're going numbers wise, the best advice is quit. If I mean, you're going by so the numbers. True. But if you're not going to quit, then do it fucking every day. Right. Don't not do it one day because somebody else will and they'll get the job. There you go. That's right. Yeah. And there's nothing, there's no, there's nothing else about it. Like to be serious, you have to do it every fucking day. You got to do it every day. Yeah. Or at least be thinking about it every day. Yeah. At least be thinking about how, it. How do you write? I uh I I don't write I I mean yeah. for my stand up yeah I just go up with ideas yeah. right that's and what I, I do. work them out there it's more fun for me but I did 430 shows two years ago and that is fucking did because you? I wanted to do it yeah I wanted to because I love doing it not for not because I wanted to make it not because I wanted to get on TV not because I wanted to fucking do anything but be on stage every day that's why you're so good and that but thank you that's not what I'm saying but you got but it fucking, is I mean but I mean but that's that you you made you for somebody who had, how long have you been doing stand up six then? years. See, that, that, that's very few people can do what you do in six years, but you, in a way, because you do it religiously every day, you're doing as much as somebody who's done it for 10 years or more. Yeah. And it just takes that rep- repetition in anything you do. It just takes that time. It's putting in the time. Well, I, I'm not trying to be an asshole or fucking brag. No, you know, but you're. But I am a. F- I am fucking weirdly amazing. And it's. <laughs> and it's. Uh, it's. Uh, Listen. What? Uh, for you, America, if you're in L. A. and you want to see the weirdly amazing Chris D'Elia, you come to the Laugh Factory or the Comedy Store, or sometimes the Improv. Yep, sometimes the Improv. On a weekend or in during the weekday. And or every Friday at the Universal Amphitheater. And we. <laughs> well, well, if you can get tickets, if you can get tickets. <laughs> he's not at the Universal Amphitheater, and if you want to talk to him, usually he's talking to you while working on his. Uh, his uh, BlackBerry. Uh, I want to thank Chris D'Elia for being my uh, wonderful second guest. And uh, and one of my best friends, Brian Callen, for having me. It, it's been great. He's I love a, you, bro. I love hey, you, look too. At me. I don't want to look at you okay. when I say that. It's so awkward. But I do love you, though. Don't make it awkward, though. That's so awkward. I I'm would kill look- somebody for you, for real. Don't do that. No, you wouldn't. You're getting way too – this is way creepy with your love now. Uh, this is Brian Callen. Uh, we'll see you next time on The Brian Callen Show.
Thank you so much for listening, America. I love you. Thanks.